Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video this morning. And so what you're looking at is Subtropical Storm Dawn, uh, which is recently named this morning. And so we're going to be taking a look at the system and all you should know. And we're also going to be focusing on what is happening for the Caribbean and what is expected. And uh, in addition, we will be taking a look at conditions across the region and uh, the potential for seeing something develop as we're going to be heading into the latter part of the month and so before i go into details please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update Okay, so as we return to this imagery here of dawn, here we can see that it is certainly looking like a subtropical cyclone out there. It has that rotation. It has the thunderstorm activity. And so uh, going to the cone forecast from the National Hurricane Center here, it has maximum sustained winds of around 50 miles per hour. And so uh, it is currently moving to the north at 6 miles per hour. So it's not a fast moving system. And uh, it is expected to make that turn back to the south as are going to be heading into next week and so it is not expected to become much stronger than it is now but as we go ahead and take a look at what the model intensity guidance shows uh, we are seeing that majority of the models here are expecting that it will maintain intensity for the most part but as we head to the next two days or so it is going to be weakening a bit and then when it is going to be moving back to the south uh, based on what is expected now then it would be accelerating into some warm warmer waters and that could allow for re-intensification so we kind of see this dip and then uh, this rise this increase in intensity expected by uh, some of these models here so that seems very probable as of right now and uh, dawn isn't a current threat to land and so it is the fifth storm uh, overall for the season the fourth named storm if you're wondering where that uh, other one came from it was an unnamed storm back in January so uh, there are five storms that have developed this hurricane season thus far and so guys now let's go ahead and take a look at what is happening on the satellite imagery of the Atlantic and here we can see there's dawn up there and uh, we also see quite a bit of activity noted in some parts of the Caribbean especially the Western Caribbean and there is that cluster of activity out there that is in association with a wave another wave out there in the main development region and a third is making its way from Africa and so uh, as we're going to be heading into the next couple of weeks what we can expect to see is uh, these strong tropical waves moving off and in the presence of enough moisture and also other conducive conditions such as uh, those favorable upper level winds then we could start to see development but what is going to be preventing it is that plethora of dry air and dust that is induced by the Saharan air layer we will be taking a look at that later in this video and so uh, as for this new wave that is emerging it is not marked as a disturbance but uh, as I said that dry air is ahead of it so that should help to keep it from becoming anything significant but uh, once there is a break in all of this uh, dry air and dust here we're looking at the Saharan air layer there we have uh, those shades of oranges yellows reds and uh, some of that is extended into the Caribbean as a matter of fact so it should be pretty hazy across most islands of the east let me know what's happening for you but uh, there we see all of this ahead of the wave so it is unlikely that we're going to be seeing any significant development of it and we also have two tropical waves the dust is definitely taking its toll as we don't see a whole lot happening for those but once there's going to be a break in this uh, there is going to be more moisture and that is going to allow uh, a more favorable environment for development and speaking of I want to take you back to the uh, latest map from the climate prediction center the global tropics hazards outlook map and again when we head to the week of the 19th to the 25th uh, we're seeing seen that some development will be possible across the tropical Atlantic within this time frame here so those stronger tropical waves coming off and uh, with less Saharan dust to, uh, interfering with them then we're gonna be seeing intensification and we see that that is expected and if you're curious about that brown shading for the Caribbean that is indicating below average rainfall for this time frame here so let's go ahead and see what's going to be happening but this wouldn't be surprising at all because I mean we're heading closer to the heart of the hurricane season 
season and as such we're expecting to see more activity so that is what is expected also we want to look at the ensemble members so each of these different lines here they represent uh, separate members and we're looking at the GFS first and so here we can see that there are quite a bit of members expecting development and based on the color of the line we know the intensity for example the darker blue shade represents tropical storm force winds and it gets stronger as we head to the green yellow orange etc so uh, we're seeing that some of these members are expecting that there will be some development uh, within the next 10 days and uh, going on to the euro ensemble members we're seeing here that uh, notably less members hopping on to it to say that hey something is going to be developing but nonetheless uh, we see a couple of them expecting that we're going to be uh, seeing something by next week but as of right now nothing is solid and so only time will tell what's going to be happening and so guys now we want to go ahead and take a look at what is happening across the Caribbean and surrounding areas and so uh, as we take a look at this satellite imagery here we can definitely see that there is uh, more activity noted in the Western Caribbean and also going up to the vicinity of the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands uh, there is some activity there as well so uh, there's a tropical wave in the region which is helping to enhance all this moisture which is resulting in these showers and thunderstorms and we even see that little cluster just in the vicinity of Jamaica some of that is spilling inland uh, maybe bringing some thunderstorms to some parts of eastern parishes so let me know what is happening for you as I said things are drier in the east uh, there is all of that dry air and dust uh, which is helping to stabilize conditions but that next tropical wave is approaching and as a result uh, is bringing along with it some showers and thunderstorms so that uh, is likely going to be resulting in for Trinidad uh, Tobago maybe for Grenada and the Grenadines as well we see a bit of activity right there but heading more up north things should be uh, more on the sunny side through majority of today and then let's go ahead and take a look at the rainfall maps as we look at the GFS uh, this is what is expected as we head throughout majority of today I'm going to tonight and so uh, as the map becomes more colorful more rainfall is expected so we see that quite a bit of rainfall likely for parts of Central America going up to some spots in Cuba the Bahamas uh, even some additional rainfall for Jamaica and then as we look to northern South America especially in Colombia we even see those purple shades so a lot of rainfall possible there and in the event of a lot of heavy rainfall there can be flooding so uh, please take the necessary precautions and stay safe there we also see uh, again Trinidad Tobago expected to receive some substantial rainfall things getting drier uh, as we head up further up north into the rest of the Lesser Antilles and then as we move on to the uh, Euro model we can see that Euro is expecting uh, a lot of rainfall up into the vicinity of the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands as well to go into Cuba additional rainfall for some spots in Jamaica Cayman Islands and then head into Central America and Northern South America some uh, substantial rainfall is likely as we progress throughout today and finally we're going over into the eastern Pacific where there is Hurricane Calvin so Calvin is a category 2 hurricane at the moment and is actually expected to become a major hurricane uh, a cat 3 and uh, as it is going to continue westward though it will be encountering some colder water so gradual weakening is expected and then by Tuesday it could become a post tropical cyclone it might pass just south of the big island of Hawaii so uh, let's see if it is going to be bringing any significant impacts but uh, this track here that we're seeing it is bound to change uh, as time goes by or shifts a bit more to the north or south and the cyclone is looking pretty healthy right now so it has been thriving in some conducive conditions hence we're seeing it looking so uh, organized and as a defined hurricane and so guys I will keep you posted on all that is happening as per usual and that is pretty much it for right now and so if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments I will respond once I get the chance and remember to always be weather wise